<laughs> every freaking one of them. Green Day Savior's album cover contains elements from every previous Green Day album cover and we're going to prove it in this video and if you stick around at the end we may even do some compilations and all kinds of insanity. I have in total 22 Green Day compact discs. We're going to start with this incredible thing. This is a, uh, this actually has an enhanced feature on it where you can see really awesome artifacts from early Green Day albums or era. You're, you're going to see photos of the band from the 80s and early 90s, but check this out. There are trees in both of these album covers. There's a hunched together figure on both albums. Both are black and white and there's concrete in both of these photos and both have a square black and white photo at the center of the cover. So there's that. Moving on to Kerplunk, the girl here is making a similar face to the boy on Saviors and they are, similar, they are in similar positions to each other on the front covers. The back covers have black and white photos of the band. And I'm not crazy, you're the one that's crazy. Sorry, I've been listening to this one a little bit too much. Now we've got the famous Dookie album, and there's fire on both of these album covers, and believe me, fire is going to come up a lot in this video. There's also crowds of people and buildings on both of these album covers. Now we're moving on to an album that you guys really love a lot, and I do too, Insomniac. We got Insomniac and Saviors. And there are a lot of similarities here on these covers. The boy with his rock is standing like the girl with her guitar. Both are with fire behind them and smiles on their faces. They are looking in the same direction as each other. And the other two characters behind her are standing where the other folks on Saviors are standing. And none of this is coincidence. I just know that it isn't. That was Insomniac. Now we're moving on to the the amazing, the Nimrod. And the Nimrod has similar layout with a square picture in the middle and Green Day on top. Black and white imagery on both album covers. Faces altered for punk rock effect. Also, the Nimrod guys kind of look like the boy. All grown up, my, 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 this is growing up. Don't panic, don't panic. Band pictures on both the back covers are black and white and are placed in similar places. I don't think so, Tim. Warning has the band name and album name in the same placement with Billy Joe bleached blonde hair and looking very much like the boy on the Savior's album cover. There's pavement and buildings, and both the boy and Green Day are wearing clothing. If you look at the spin, if you look at the spine of Warning, there's a man with his face altered like the Savior's Boy. Black and white photos of the band are on both back album covers. This is kind of ridiculous, kind of a conspiracy, conspiratorial. American Idiot has a black background like Saviors, as well as white hands holding something. 21st Century Breakdown has a black background, which Green Day are kind of obsessed with at this point. Black and white, boy and girl like the Saviors kids, and bricks like the buildings of Saviors. The kids also kind of look like Christian in this picture. Uno has the same pink lettering as Saviors and a black and white face. What's up with all these black and white faces? There's black and white faces on almost every Green Day album, which I'm just now noticing. Saviors has quotes. Uno has exclamation and upside down exclamation points, marks. There's an X of scrap metal above the car and X's on Billy's eyes. Dose has the black and white Mike Dirt, the exclamation marks, and bleach blonde hair, like the Savior's album cover. Trey features a Trey face that would fit right at home on the Savior's artwork, and again, Green Day should be called Gray Day, because every album has black and white. Every single freaking release. Rev Rad 
has a black background because we're dealing with a black and white and gray band here. Flames, the antenna look like an X above the car. Um, yeah, it's just every single freaking album. Father of All, I know you guys, this is just one of the greatest albums of all time. It has a black background, and guess what? Pukey is wearing a gray shirt, just like the boy in black and white. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Pukey. Now we are looking at international super hits and saviors compared to each other. There is a black figure on saviors, and there is three black figures on international super hits. Green Day is at the top. The title is at the bottom. And there also seems to be the same pink color from International Super Hits as well. And just like always, there are black and white photos of Billy, Mike, and Trey on the back of the album. So International Super Hits looking very much like Saviors. Now next up, we have the amazing shenanigans with the payphone, the graffiti on the walls, and of course, black and white photos of the band on the back of the album. That is just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But visually, there are blonde people on the front of Shenanigans. Is there a payphone on Saviors? I do not see one, but I do see concrete. I see concrete and I see the floor, which is made of concrete, which is very very interesting. Next up is Bullet in a Bible and we have a black and white figure of Billy Joe with his hands up in the air kind of like the boy with the black and white picture and his hands being prominently featured. What else do we have? We have a black and white background and um, it looks like that is about it on the Bullet in a Bible comparisons. Bullet in a Bible does not have black and white pictures of the band on the back, which is just really ridiculous. The original Broadway cast recording of American Idiot is black and white. It says Green Day on the front. And that apparently is it on that one. No. Next up is Awesome as Bleep, the incredible 2011 live album by Green Day. There is pink text, just like Saviors. There's a black and white background with humans on it. And it says Green Day. So this one is just uh, checking off all the boxes. We got a black and white photo of the band on the back in typical Green Day fashion. Um, and yeah, that one just looking a whole lot like Saviors. Screw everyone. Next up we have Demolicious and this one is perhaps the least like Saviors cover but there is like wreckage of humanity there is the word Green Day and the album title um, not seeing a whole lot the spine I guess is pretty similar but that's about it. We do have some black and gray color in Demolicious and some damage to society. That is a, that is a, that is it. Greatest Hits, God's Favorite Band is interesting because it is also a Mod Podge or a collage of all the Green Day albums kind of thrown in there uh, collectively. Uh, there is the word Green Day, there is black and white in the cover, and I would say Mike Dirt kind of looks like the boy on the Saviors cover. And yeah, we, we're getting closer to the end, people. Finally, we have Green Day Bluegrass, picking on Green Day a tribute. And the albums are both indeed black and white, with uh, Green Day written in text. They've got some humans that are in black and white. Um, one of them is holding an item like the boy on Saviors.
Fame of minutes, 15 for dream, the live we. Rain, acid, and dance, slam, cocaine, and commies, pain. Times of end, the blessed God. Lines, party, and champagne. Time, another from crimes. 1981, like head, her bang, gonna she's. Farewell, long so.